In the world of sports nutrition, people use various supplements to increase their performance and enhance exercise recovery. Creatine and whey protein are two popular examples with a great deal of data backing their effectiveness. While their effects are similar in some regards, they are distinctly different compounds that work in different ways. Today, we'll be talking about the consequences of consuming creatine and whey together. Protein supplements, be they whey, plant, meat, egg, or some other source, are a form of food. You use them to fill in gaps in your daily macro counts, and your body sees them the way it sees any other protein you eat. You can have a protein drink first thing in the morning as breakfast, right after a workout to maximize recovery, or even before bed to maintain muscle protein synthesis while you sleep. The point is, there's really no wrong time to have a protein shake. They're here to help you reach your goals. Creatine works a little differently. It is not a macronutrient, and it does not have a daily recommended intake. You can think of it simply as an energy source. When you engage in short-burst, high-intensity activities, your body uses a compound called phosphocreatine to create energy extremely quickly. These immediate energy stores have high mobility, but unfortunately, they only last long enough for other systems to kick in and take over. Creatine supplementation helps expand the amount of phosphocreatine stored in your muscles, so you have a greater burst of energy to do things like lift heavy weights and conquer those sprint intervals. Timing your creatine supplementation is more about the long game. To increase your muscle stores of phosphocreatine, you have to saturate your body over a period of days or weeks. There are two trusted protocols for this. Casual users should simply focus on taking 3-5 to five grams of creatine per day. Easy, right? Those looking to hit their saturation point more quickly can load creatine with a 20-25 to 25 grams per day for the first week or so, and then come back down to 3-5 to five grams per day to maintain. Having both whey protein and creatine together makes it the perfect training supplement to raise your muscle gains. Creatine provides an instant burst of energy, allowing you to exert your whole body, especially during workouts that involve a lot of muscular contraction that require maximum energy expenditure. When combined with glycogen-depleting exercise, creatine increases glycogen accumulation and aerobic threshold. According to the results of a recent study, 51 men drank a drink containing creatine and protein as opposed to a carbohydrate-only drink. While they did not see differences in muscle mass or strength after 10 weeks of resistance training, they did find that creatine and protein test group improved their anaerobic power. The essential amino acids in whey protein enable it to build and repair muscle tissue. Muscle tissue can be repaired and remodeled with this compound, and it can help muscles grow. Research has also shown that men who used whey protein and creatine in a strength training program gained more strength and lean muscle mass than men who used only whey protein. Taking creatine supplements at the right time is of utmost importance. If you are on a casual maintenance phase, then you should take 3-5 to five grams of this supplement. However, if you are on the loading phase, then you should aim for 20-25 to 25 grams for the first week, and then drop to 3-5 to five grams per day for maintenance. Because creatine monohydrate is odorless and tasteless, it makes taking the supplement easier. Combine protein powder, amino acids, or plain water with a drink. You can hit your protein macronutrient targets while maintaining a high level of creatine saturation by drinking a protein and creatine shake on a regular basis. So, this brings us to the conclusion of today's video. Let us know what you liked about the video in the comments below. Till then, hope to see you in another video.